I don't really want to record this video, which I'll explain why in a minute. Uh, it's a bit windy, which is why I'm sort of below the wall here, so forgive any terrible sound. But I'm up on my roof right now uh, in Santa Monica, Venice, California. Here is the beach. I'm going to try and get behind the wall. It's my gym, just a bunch of kettlebells and stuff. And uh, I want to tell you why I spent $9,000 a month on my rent. First off, this is the actual proper roof. This is the hot tub, which I actually use pretty much every morning. And look, this is going to seem like such a douchey video. I don't know how to not make it douchey. I really don't want to tell people what I pay for rent here because even when I've told my friends, they're like, you're an idiot. What are you doing? Why would you spend that much on rent? You're throwing your money away. Why don't you buy something? Um, and first off, the reason I don't buy something is because I think the market's at a high right now and I'd rather basically stockpile as much cash and liquid assets until things fall so that I can buy stuff when it's cheap. Um, and the second reason is because I don't care. I don't care that it's nine grand. People think, why would you ever spend nine grand a month on rent? And the reason is because, first off, this roof is worth money to me. So I do, once I moved here, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna do some private consulting days. Now, it's nine grand, typically right now, to do a consulting day. Guess what? My rent's nine grand. That means I'm living for free in a ridiculously nice place right next to the ocean. There's the water there, which guess what? Makes me very happy. I love looking at the ocean. It genuinely makes me happy. But here's the thing that I really want to talk about, about this nine grand a month, which, yeah, it's a lot to spend on rent, I understand. But look at this. There's a roof, there's a roof. There's actually a guy playing guitar, that never happens. There's rooftops over here. They're all over the place. I am. So I come up here every day. I wondered when I moved in here, am I gonna be the person who's like, oh, I've got this great roof and I'm never gonna use it. I'm up here every single day. Um, I hot tub in the morning before I work. I go to the ocean before I hot tub. Um, and the thing is, is nobody out here is on their rooftops. These people are paying, these, how, if, if you own one of these, it's a few million dollars. If you're paying rent, it's outrageous rent, and nobody's using their rooftop. Especially during the middle of the day, there's nobody here, and it's because these people have to work so hard to make their living. And they're so busy making a living that they don't have a life. And that's the thing, is once you understand leverage, once you actually manage your business in a way that doesn't require more time to make more money, you realize that you can actually spend your time doing the stuff, and I'm just gonna duck under here because it's windy, um, doing the stuff that you actually enjoy instead of spending all of your time working. And here's the thing, I love what I do. I seriously love what I do. But doing it for more than a few hours a day is not more productive for me. It's just an idea that we've learned based on the Industrial Revolution. We've accepted that we're supposed to work eight hours a day because Henry Ford was like, hey, you know how long somebody can twist shit and twist shit? What am I, Scottish for a moment? Um, how long can somebody, you know, build cars until it's physically dangerous for them to do so? That's why eight hours is what we accept. And that's the problem is people are building their businesses in ways that are not scalable. And I don't just mean scalable in the traditional sense if you can't make more money from it. But even if they are scalable, the only way to make more is to scale up your time. So I don't build things that way, and I'm not saying I'm not the richest person in, in the world, I'm not even obviously near that. Um, and I don't aim to be. I aim to make a great living and have a great life at the same time. And so when I look at something like $9,000 a month in, in rent, I don't think, oh my God, here's this massive expense. I think, how can I do that for free? And the way I'm able to do it for free is I have an email list full of people who, at least for the most part, really like what I have to say. They trust me a lot and I've built that trust over time, but they're willing to spend nine to $10,000 or more to spend a day with me hanging out on my roof, helping them with their business. So I literally take one client a month and hang out with them on my roof and I pay for my rent. Now that's not the primary, obviously that's not the primary driver of my business if I was only making nine grand a month and spending nine grand a month, that would be very stupid. But that's the thing, once you understand how to build an email list properly, and manage it properly and build trust, build a relationship. You can do whatever you wanna do 
with that list, you can sell live events, you can sell digital products, physical products, whatever it is that you want. The thing that, the, the absolute, like the real commodity that you have, the thing that you're developing with these people is trust. And when you have trust, when you're a trusted advisor to these people, you can do whatever you want. You can create offers, you can sell other people's products, you can, you can help people, you can raise money for charity, you can do all sorts of unbelievable things, but it starts out with building a list of people who are interested in something that hopefully you're interested in, because it's gonna be pretty boring writing stuff to them every day if you're not interested in it. Um, it starts out with building that list and then building trust over a long period of time. Now, the cool thing is, by a long period of time, you can build trust in a day, two days, three days. You can do it in minutes or hours if you know what you're doing. Um, and then if you do it for years, guess what? These people are gonna be basically addicted to you, and when you offer them things, they're going to happily pay you for those things. So, it's a little more long-winded than I intended, no pun <laughs> intended with the wind. Um, but people think it's mental. And don't let other people's opinions also just like stop you from doing these things. I have one buddy who understood why I was gonna spend nine grand a month. And everybody else, I stopped telling anybody. I, didn't t I don't tell any of my friends. And these people who I only wanted to share with them because they're friends of mine and I care about them and I was really excited to move here. Um, people don't understand because they're dealing with their own insecurities and they don't understand that you can leverage these things. And it really comes down to having a group of people who trust you, who like you, who know you, who want to buy your shit. That's all. One hour workday is out now and available too. So if you want to get that one hour workday, do it.